One, go! On her way with 15 seconds on the autonomous side. Red goes up for three. Blue goes up for two. From the distance. Blue off. Red off. Last second shot. Red Alliance is questionnaire cross. Due to the crossing rule, technology gets the first 10 of the game. Drivers, three, two, one, go. A minute and 45, the road to the crown ends here. One minute and 45 seconds, down to a minute 35. Rollers right now, one roller to red, two rollers red, one blue, one neutral. Shot being fired away for the Red Alliance side. Uncontested, goes another team in the red. Blue Alliance trying to catch up as far as they possibly can. But right now the team from Rogan, or excuse me, the team from Supernova Hydra, too fast, too furious, and another two upstairs. Blue Alliance though, Rogan Team C, looking up. Count is five, they're out in three. One minute, two seconds remain. Another couple of pair shots upstairs. Nothing doing. But some more up for Supernova Hydro. Pair from distance. Tense on robotics trying, but try as they might. The red container almost full to the brim. Down to 45. Another pair upstairs for the team out of LA. Shane is out. No extension warning. 35 remains. Another downtown shot for Rugon Team C. Nothing to do it for only one. Rollers though, right now with 30 seconds remaining. Rollers, three to one in favor of the Red Alliance. They'll change, it's even up at two apiece. 25 seconds. Down to 20. Teams will go to the respective sites. Respective corners. Ladies and gentlemen, the final 10 seconds. <laughs> Eight seconds left. Champions board right here. Three seconds. Anybody else extending? And that is the buzzer. We have gone the distance in finals match number three. It all comes down to this. Scorekeepers, referees will tally it up. But only one of these alliances will be the champions of the middle school division in the world. It's back on over to Grant to wrap us up. Thanks so much, Keegan. That was a close match. It was the third match, the tiebreaker match. Those refs are going to need a little bit of time to score it. So I'm here with uh, my friend Dan Troy um, while those refs are scoring it. And we're prepping for, you know, that part that comes after the final match of the season. Uh, I've got some questions about that match. Dan, what did you see in that match? I mean, what did I see? Man, what did, what did I see? Uh, well, what did you see? <laughs> the microphone is ready for the more ready for the game reveal than I am. <laughs> I, mean, I hope everyone in the arena is ready for the game reveal. That's right. That's it was right. way hype. But before we get to that, yep. let's talk about this match. Please. I think to start off, autonomous. You got to start there. That is where there the match is such, starts. You are correct. <laughs> there is such expert huge, analysis here in World Championship. <laughs> there is such a huge start when you are up by four, five, even six discs, you can go with a completely different strategy. And, yeah, it, it's, and it's not just about the autonomous bonus points, it's about having those extra discs already off the field, right? Exactly, and when you miss shots and, they're, and they land in your opponent's home zone, uh, low, low goal, it's a four point swing per disc that happens. Yep. And so critical, critical. And, and is that something that you saw? At, uh, you've been watching all three of these middle school finals matches. Was that a consistent, like pivotal moment of each match? Or was it something that only came out in this third match? Um, you saw it a lot in, in the second round as well as this, this third round. But when blue gets behind, they play a completely different strategy when they're ahead. So really? in the first match, I actually missed that. So <laughs> in, in the yeah, first match that. when blue nailed their auto, they went right in the defense, and it was heavy and hard early, which I think took Red off I balance. Surprise. Yeah, yeah, because these teams are—they're not just watching their own robots; they're watching their opponents and like figuring out strategy. And so they were probably expecting Blue to do something totally different, right? Exactly. And and in this match, Red I think did a fantastic job of doing like a pick and roll, mm. and they were switching who was playing offense, and they weren't letting Ten Ton right. do what Ten Ton did in that first match. <laughs> 
So we, we're we no strangers to 10 ton here. Um, I think you told me some trivia about them before. What's the story of this team that's down in the dome? Well, I was actually just sitting next to their head mentor and the wild stat he told me is this is a rubber match for them. Right now they have three first place world championships and they have three <laughs> second place. Ooh. So we know that they're, we know which one they're cutting for here. Oh, I mean, we know what they're gunning for, but 